So we're going to continue to model parts in Autodesk Inventor and take, for example, the third part or the axle. Now, you should already know how to actually create this minus the uh, chamfer feature right over here. Now, also pay attention to this part, too. There's actually no dotted lines, so there's actually nothing hollow inside of it. So this is actually a solid piece. So I'm going to let you make this on your own, but the next video is going to actually help you because you could actually do this feature or this part using either extrusion or the revolve tool, which I'm about to teach for this part or this wheel right over here. Okay, so let's actually begin with the wheel. Going back into Autodesk Inventor, I'm going to click on the home button again, and then I'm creating other parts. So from here, like always, let's start with creating a two-dimensional sketch. And let me go ahead and click on this plane right over here. Now, interesting enough, when I use the revolve feature, it's like a lathe machine. So all I need is kind of half a profile and I'll just sort of zip around an axis and then kind of cut what I need in a particular way. So looking at this feature right over here, all I really have to do is just recreate this drawing right over here and apply a revolve on here. And all the dimensions are set for you. Now there's, like I said, some other features in here. This one actually has kind of a rounded fillet right over here, which is reflected in this piece of geometry. But of course we could put a chamfer in there if we wanted to, which would be good for this feature here. Okay, so going back into Autodesk Inventor, what we're gonna do is we're going to start to do half our profile of a wheel. So with my line, let's start from the center as always, and I'm gonna type in 0 decimal 5, enter. From here, I'm gonna go 0 decimal 44, enter. So far that's pretty good. And then what I wanna do is I wanna cut in here 0 decimal 25 or a quarter of an inch. Let's go up three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to come across. And the amount that I'm going to come across is going to be 0 0.75. Zero decimal four up. We're going to come all the way across because our wheels is going to be two inches uh, wide. And then let's go ahead here and then just get our values. Again, I like to type them in. I realize that there is a snap feature that kind of shows me how it goes or, you know, how it lines up to the other uh, geometric feature or the line sketch. So 0 0.75. Almost done. Whoops, that's okay. I can probably change that quite easily. Let's just double click and we want 0 0.44. That's better. And let's just take this all the way home here. Okay, so that is my sketch. Now, if you notice though, from this wheel assembly, there's actually a hole in here. And so when I actually use the revolve command, I want a hole in here, but I'm gonna to have to use the construction line to sort of help me out here. So in doing so, let's turn on a construction line feature, and I'm just gonna come across like this, and I'm gonna draw this down 0 0.41 of an inch. You'll notice that I have all these dimensions already planned in advance. So yes, it does take quite a bit of planning. Uh, to get this just right so all your parts fit together. Substantial amount of work doing that, in fact, in the planning phases. Okay, great. Um, so there's the distance 0 0.410. Not worried about this again because it's just a construction line. It's not going to be used for any three-dimensional feature. And let's put another construction line right over here, and I'll just put in 0 0.5 so it matches up with the other one. Okay, good enough. Let me delete this one. Don't need it anymore. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Okay, so there is half of my profile, which matches this right over here. So from there, what I need to do is use my revolve feature. And when I click on the revolve feature, you can see that I can select the profile. And now what I have to do is I have to select an axis. So let me go ahead and this is gonna be my revolving axis, just like that. Wow, that was fast. There is the wheel. Now, a couple of new tools that we're going to learn is chamfer. Now, my wheel is not going to have a chamfer, but I just want you to see it. So I'm going to go ahead, click on chamfer, 
And you can see what it does is it actually cuts out at 25 degrees. So it kind of gives you a bit of a bevel. Let me go control Z and put that back. All right, but I, what I definitely want to do is I want to put a fillet. Now a fillet is like a chamfer. Instead though, what it does is it actually rounds it off. So now you can see that the feature is slightly rounded and it's not cut out at a 45 degree angle. All right, so let's go ahead and put a fillet in say here. Now I could click on OK and then do fillet on the other side, um, but that just doesn't make any sense. I can actually do all my fillets so I have just a single feature in my model browser right over here. Let's spin this around. And let's put one here and one here as well. At the end, we're going to click on OK. And there's my wheel parts. Done simple. Takes a little bit of work to think it and plan it out, but that definitely works. So I'm going to go ahead and save this part here, and we're going to call this wheel. So like I said earlier, you can easily do this. Now you could choose to do this by doing the revolve, or you could do it just with a bunch of extrusions. So again, I want you to think of different ways that Inventor works and how that can best work for you. Don't forget your 45 degree chamfer at 0.125. So that's it for this video. We're going to come back now and we're going to actually create an assembly where we actually put all of our parts together and we're going to apply some materials and we're going to also look at dependence. So if we change one part, how it gets updated in one file to the next file. Thanks for watching.